So today we're going to take a look at the Ashland 220 TS4 direct mount scraper. We're going to go through the daily maintenance routine and inspections for your pre-start. One of the first things to check on your daily maintenance inspection is the connection of the scraper to the tractor. You want to make sure that locking pin is secure and that the safety pin is in its position. Secondly, we want to check our connections of our hydraulics. Make sure they're locked in and no leaks clean from dirt. We'll check hydraulic lines for any wear or any leaks along the couplings. So the 220 TS4 scraper uses a mixture of fibreless greaseless bushing and daily greasing points at the pivot points. You want to make sure that all of these grease points are taking grease every day. So inside the breech of the scraper we've inserted the mechanical locking pin for the apron and also the mechanical lockouts on the lifting cylinders. This will give you safe access to the cutting edge of the machine to inspect its condition and also swapping it out. On this machine we have a straight 13 inch cutting edge for trimming applications. This scraper can also be used with the cut centre cutting edge as a stinger and 10 inch cutting edges on the outside. So at the ejector wall we want to check that the headache rack is secure and doesn't need tensioning. We also want to look at the clearances around the ejector wall. A minimum of 10 mil is required around the three sides. So coming along the side of the scraper now, we want to check that this guarding is all in place and secure. This protects the apron ram from any build up of material coming over the sides of the scraper and the hydraulic lines in behind. We also want to check on these exposed lines that there's not a big build up of material causing excessive wear on these hydraulic lines. At the rear of the machine we want to check tyre pressures to make sure they're even across all four tyres so no one tyre is carrying more of the load than the other. We want to check the wheel nuts for security and they're torqued up to spec and also these bolts here that hold the wheel hubs to the machine. So on this particular machine it is a lead scraper. It has a rear hook to run scrapers in tandem configuration and hydraulics to run the second scraper. Once again we're checking for leaks and security of all the components. So once you're satisfied with the machine's condition, you've completed the daily maintenance tasks, be sure to remove the mechanical lockouts and function test your machine before you start. So during your daily maintenance inspection, if you identify any parts that need replacing, please call us at Dom Distribution where we carry a full range of spares for the Ashland range of scrapers.